Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for Will There Be Contact? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And I have posted new member content on my YouTube channel. So for all, those, all, of, all of you guys that are a member, you can check that out. It's up and available for you guys to watch right now. And uh, we'll be posting some more on there very soon. So stay tuned. And if you'd like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkersthen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, I do have a second YouTube channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. I do plan to get into more of the deeper mysteries, guys, because I have had a couple of suggestions from you guys. So we're gonna we're gonna dive deep into those as well. So, and I'm always open to more suggestions. So, um. If you guys say hello to me on the other channel, I say hello to you too. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about what's going on with this person when it comes to you, okay? Why is there no contact? Will there be contact? And what's some advice? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both if you're afraid it. All right, so. Show me the cards I need. Two, three. Show me the cards I need. Two. Six. Okay, feels good. So this person is waiting for the right time with you. They're waiting for the ships to come in. They're waiting for. Um, they're trying to um, see what's going to happen here. That's what I get the sense with the three of wands energy. This person has a lot of self-doubt and a lot of worries, a lot of dark thoughts here. Sleepless nights here with the Nine of Swords energy when it comes to you. It's almost like they, they wait up for you. It's like they have something set up for you guys in of hopes that something's going to change here around the situation. It's very interesting. It's like they're waiting here for you. This person is stuck and stagnant and is trying to get some kind of light around the situation. They feel like they're just like dangling in the middle somewhere. And they're like, how do I break free from this? Okay, so let's just throw down some more cards here and I'm just going to also get some clarity because I really want to see what the heck that hangman is about. Why are they so worried? What's all this about? Okay, even at the bottom of the deck, you can see your person is at a loss here. It's like you've turned your back to them and they want your attention somehow. And they're like, oh man, this opportunity's gone. What am I gonna do about it? It's gone. And I don't I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's keep going here. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so they're trying not to make any abrupt moves here. Okay, they're trying, they've gained some wisdom about the situation and they're like, all right, I need to be patient. This person's like, I can't get out of bed. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't feel like getting dressed. I don't feel like getting out of bed. I've just been thinking about this a lot. I'm stuck because of a sense of overindulgence of just overthinking. So, or when am I going to be lucky enough? You know, when's the time going to be right? They definitely have a strong, um, passionate attraction to you guys. They are hiding this, though. They're not trying to tell you. They also see you as uh, somebody they want to commit to with the ring card energy. Yeah, they, they definitely got passion on the mind. Ooh, okay. They got passion on the mind there. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, but they do feel depressed and sad. Okay. When it comes to this connection. Okay, so your person wants to bring things into balance here. And it's interesting because that's the next card coming out too, which is temperance, which is saying the same thing, essentially. 
it's like you guys are at the state of like this hot and cold kind of energy but they know that there's something more to this connection than meets the eye basically that's divinely guided somehow because i get the sense that there's like an angel in the background right it's like if we could just bring this into balance like we're like opposites but opposites attract and you know leo is like the sun and i'm like the moon but you know uh like i almost also get one of you guys is like a night owl and one of you guys is like an early bird kind of energy too it's but, but it's like it just goes well together and i also get the sense with this ten of cups energy it's like i see a future with this person they really do make me happy and i have a good time spending with them i can like if you guys are at the age where you know you're not gonna have any children or anything they could just see like you know a future and maybe like grandkids together or like uh you know a fa blended family together it's just like they imagine this and it just they're like they want to revive this somehow and like be happy here with the main person to bring things together here to have a sense of accomplishment and completion here with the ten of cups kind of energy they're like you're the best decision for me leo I want to offer you something, um, you know, I want something of value here in this connection. I want a long-term commitment here. I'm, I'm very attracted to you, you know? Some of you guys, they want to start a family with, okay? I know it's not for all of you guys that you say, you'll tell me in the comments. I know it's not for all of you guys. I know it's for some of you Leos. But they definitely appreciate your attractive quality. Like, they see you as a very nurturing, supportive kind of energy and something about this connection they see could really grow into something and then you're like well what what happened here how did this break apart and what was going on here with this situation you see this cat looking into the mirror like what happened you know it's like we reflect one another we play off of one another there's that kind of energy again of like these mirroring kind of effect between you and this person and it's like it's like looking at myself right it's like i'm it's like looking at myself you know even though we have some differences it's like looking at myself and uh what happened here i don't understand what happened and i don't know where i stand with leo i just don't know where i stand with leo i know that my feelings are true and I, I really have a deeper connection with them, but I don't know if they feel the same way about me more deeply. And I really want to hold on to them too with the Four of Pentacles energy. I want to hold on to them. I want to keep them safe. And, you know, I, I just, I want to be protected here. I want to protect them from the world. Because they are everything that I want. They're my wishes fulfilled here. They're who I, I, I envision that would fulfill my desires, everything that I want. And I really want to heal this connection. I really want to heal this connection. And I've had some time to think about this, and I really do feel overwhelmed by the whole thing. How do I accomplish and complete this? I know we have a lot of baggage, you know? We've had a lot of things that we've been holding on to, and how do we let go of some of these things? How do we you know, come off of this situation that seems so impossible to overcome. Because of these things from the past, this situation pertaining to the past, these memories of the past, and these people involved in the situation. So let's bring it all together here, Leo. I'm really attracted to you and I want to bring things into balance, but I have uncertainty because of these deceptions and I know you're the best decision for me, but I want to heal this. When it comes to this commitment and this offer of money and finance and these people involved in the situation. Some of you guys may work with this person, okay. Or there's something around money and finance that involves the situation. So it's like the wisdom here is to heal this, these issues. And I've been, I'm, I've been spending that time alone to think about this. You know, I feel lonely and you're somebody who I want to be with. And I, and I, I feel like I can have a sense of overindulgence and bring things together like we did before.
I've waited for this opportunity and I want to grow this. I want to find a creative solution, but I'm really worried and concerned how to heal this situation and how to hold on to this. And I feel stuck and I want to be happy here, but I'm overwhelmed and I have burdens and responsibilities. Okay, so the next question is then why are they not communicating? Why? Why is Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is Leo's love interest communicating with Leo? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, why are they not communicating? They're waiting for a sign, trying to stay hopeful and optimistic of the future. When it comes to a commitment engaged or marriage, their hands are tied. They need some kind of clarity or answers, Ace of Swords energy. They're waiting for the right time. When it comes to this relationship, this soulmate connection, they want to take a leadership role because of this chemistry and passion, but there's some air of mystery or something secret here that's causing them to feel very defeated. Okay, let's get more clarity about this, okay? Okay, why is Leo's love interest the one they're here for? The one they want to know about. Why is Leo's love interest not communicating with them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, why? Okay, so we see letter, message, or document. I was foolish about this situation when it came to celebration and this pleasure seeking. And I keep having thoughts. I want a, a positive turn of events. I'm listening to my intuition and I'm surprised about the situation and I feel sad. This marriage, this commitment, when the timing is right, we see money and finance involved in the situation. I'm hopeful of this reunion. I want to be with them. We see this house, this home, I have to wait, and I'm trapped. So they have some kind of obligation that they're trapped in, they have to deal with um, at the moment. So that's what's going on. So then are they going to communicate in the next few months? Is Leo's love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? Now, Spirit, I'm asking about Leo's love interest okay that they're going to communicate all right i just want to know about leo's love interest they going to they're going to be the one to communicate first all right positive card for yes negative card for no two months is their love interest the one they're here for the one they're out of communication with is this person going to be the one that communicates first positive card for yes negative card for no show me cards i need to see show me the cards i need two let's see okay let's see here leo eight of pentacles that's a neutral card King of Wands. It looks like because the King of Wands is there, it looks like you guys will be. King, whenever I see the Kings or Emperor card energies, Leo, I see it as the other person that's going to communicate, the person I'm giving the reading for. Okay, so maybe you'll have to take a leadership role because something has, needs to end for a new beginning. Something has to have a new birth, a, new, a rebirth here. Um, we see there is an opportunity that will present itself, but there's confusions here about what to do. And then we got another king energy pointing again to you guys taking a leadership role because of heartache and sadness towards this good news. And again, emperor, uh, excuse me, cherry card again is another one of those cards that again point to me that you guys would take a leadership role. So it is in this situation for most of you Leos, it's going to be you taking a leadership role for this communication, okay? Just know that. The ball is in your court, okay? But I want to find out some advice for those Leos that that's not the case. They can't, like, you know, you guys can't communicate. So let me get some advice for you guys who can't communicate with this person. Can I have some advice for the Leos who can't communicate with this person? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Focus on your heart and focus on inner peace. You have potential. There will be an opportunity that will present itself. It looks like it has a sense of risk or adventure and focus on the abundance and positive thinking. You'll be able to take a risk when the opportunity presents itself. You have more power than you realize. You'll be able to see the bigger picture. Speak your truth to speak your truth. You're fully supported. Uh, we see emotionally you'll overcome some kind of obstacles and fulfill your desires. So, okay, that's good. So let me just get in general for you guys some advice when it comes to your love connection. 
Okay, so can I ask advice my Leo when it comes to their love connection for their highest best good, for the best possible offer for them? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, don't be fake, be yourself. Be your authentic Leo self. And don't let this person trigger you, okay? Um, what they got to say is like what they got to say, but um, you can't take it personally. Stay positive in your inspiration and your thoughts. And don't forget to have fun, Leo, because the timing will be right. And you can follow your heart. Yes, this connection has a lot of ups and downs. But there's nothing to be worried about. This needs to be an equal give and take. But you got options. You got lots of options. And you can wait it out. Be patient. Because this is all a part of your personal growth. Okay, that makes sense, Bert. That makes sense. It's pretty clear cut. All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Yes, guys, I do love reading my comments. So I do love hearing from you guys. So if this resonates with you, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments, okay? And there's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. The one of the main readings that I would like you guys to go check out right now well, you can look at the, the mid-monthlies. I did release those, and it covers both love and wealth and what you need to know spiritually, of course. And then it's going to give you the whole rest of this month, so that's a good amount of information to know. But also the solar eclipse reading would be really important reading to, um, to take a look at because it's breaking down exactly what's going to take place. Pluto's involved. There's multiple planets involved. I'm pretty sure it's up to four or five planets involved with this whole situation that's going on. So that's a pretty profound thing. It's something we have to watch out for. Eclipses do cause massive changes in our lives and they, they take place for a extended period of time. So three to six months after it. And it's coming up April 19th to the 20th, depending on where you guys are. So definitely a reading to check out next. So it's up and available for you guys to watch right now. There is also multiple readings. You know how I am. I like to post all the time. So there is literally so many readings. There is the 2023 reads. There is for singles and for everyone else. And there is the next three months. And there is secrets, X returns, new, uh, new love. Um, let's see. Secrets, uh, true intentions, true feelings. Oh, my goodness. Weeklies, bi-weeklies. Oh my goodness, there's so many readings for you guys to go check out right now. And also I have interviews on here on this channel. I have spiritual information. I have lots of stuff on the channel. Um, just go through the playlist. You can find a bunch of stuff. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.